Welcome everybody to another edition of Beer Dad Reviews with me, Dave the Beer Dad. This beer review, we are going up north of the border to Scotland and to the Williams Brothers Brewery. And today we're going to be looking at the Beards and Bees, which is the Beards and Bees Golden Summer Ale. This is a 4.3%. Um, yeah, 4.3% Golden Summer Ale, micro-brewed for maximum flavour and brewed in Alloa. There you go. Best before on this is the 11th of, sorry, the uh, November 2018. Um, this was donated to me by Beer Dad subscriber um, Sarah Connolly. So thank you very much, Sarah. I've been looking forward to this one. And there's the cap, the Williams Brothers logo. The back says it's a bright summer, a bright golden summer ale, brewed with a blend of pale, of pale lager malts, cascade, First golden albumino hops and a late infusion of fresh elderflowers. Fruity, aromatic and deliciously refreshing. Um, on the website, um, you can buy the stuff off straight off there, the direct to your, to your door. These will these will sell. First Williams I've had in ages. It's the first one I've actually reviewed on this website on, because I've been doing the, this channel. So uh, I've had some of this stuff before. It's been really, really nice. So, pop's been topped, pop's been topped, top's been popped. Let's see what it looks like. Again, as usual, I'll put a description uh, in the description box below. I'll put the link to the website. The website's really good, really informative videos. Um, I say you can buy this stuff. Uh, there's a whole raft of beers that they do. It's more important to talk about this than to talk about what's on the website. Anyway. Here we go. So what have we got? We've got a golden beer. We're going to light through it. It's a bit dark today, isn't it? Um, yeah, light. We've got just over a finger and a half of pure white head. Really compact. And a bit of, bit of carbonation cut up from the bottom. You can see that. Here we go. So let's get a nose. See what she smells like. Smells quite good actually. Smells like a typical summer ale. There's a little bit of sweetness, a little bit of citrus there. <coughs> and a little sniff of elderflower as well. Let's have a taste. Cheers. Carbonation's really light. Well, it's light to medium. Um, head's quite thick and creamy, to be fair. It's not bad. Taste-wise, okay, so. Yeah, a little bit of citrus. A little bit of lemony orangey, that type of scenario. And that dies and sort of washed away a little bit. But then at the very end, there's a little bit, a little bit of malt. There's a lovely little elderflower back taste there, right in the back end. Lovely little elderflower. That's absolutely delicious. Take the rest of it with the glass. That didn't go well. Oh yes, very nice. Oh yes, 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 very nice. No, it's lovely. Very drinkable. Very refreshing. Clean and crisp. Eh. It's rounded to rounded somewhere else. Tastes good. The elderflower at the end is really, really nice. I quite like elderflower beers. Um, I went for the uh, the dark, the purple moose breweries elderflower ale. That's a that's a joy, and this is right there with it. Smashing, smashing beer. Would I buy this again? Well, if I saw it, would I buy it? Yes, I would. I'm tempted to buy more Williams beers. <coughs> this is really, really nice. I don't see, don't see that many about. Mostly you see in uh, craft beer shops. But I think this one was bought in a Sainsbury's or maybe a Tesco up in Wigan. Um, would I recommend it to somebody else? Absolutely, I would. Yeah, it's very, very good. I say, I remember, I've had, the ones I've had of these before, I've had their Midnight Sun, excuse me, and that was beautiful. Uh, but I've had their Heather Ale as well, that was really nice. 
oh, this is this is right there with it as well. They also do a, a Joker IPA, which I'm trying to find without having to buy it off the website. But yeah, so anyway, see this about. Pick it up, have a little go if you fancy it. If you've had this beer and you want to tell me what, what you think about it, please put it in the comments below. If you've watched this for the first time um, and you like what you've seen, there's another 155 videos stacked behind this one. Please feel free to hit the like and the subscribe button and the little bell. I do one of these mostly, most, most days. Oh, it's really good. I could drink a lot of this. I also have the, all the social media stuff, the Twitter, the Instagram, blah, blah, blah. I've got two new subscribers, I don't know who you are, but obviously because your accounts are private, but if you want to drop me a quick, <coughs> quick comment, I'll give you a bit of a shout out. I do thank you for your for your subscriptions on Ballon Roll, nicely towards the 100, I think I've got 90, 94 subscribers now. Anyway, let's chuck this down. Hopefully a little bit of lace on the side of the glass there as well. Very, very drinkable. Very enjoyable. Be nice with a chicken, lemon, thyme, that type of, type of dish. Not that I do food pairings now because I'm not because I'm no, uh, I'm no food expert. But this is good. You need to get some in your life. So that's me done. With the one in the bank, with the one in the books, with the one done and dusted. <coughs> so, I'll see you in the next one. Hey, everybody. Hey, Leo.